Hey everyone, new drone here, and we're going to show you quickly how to bind the stock radio to our flight controller. So the first step is to go ahead and plug in power to the flight controller. So there's no point in wasting a lipo here. So once the light here starts to flash rapidly, it'll be in bind mode. Um, so as you can see now, it's flashing rapidly. So the first step is to hold down the left gimbal and power on the radio and then let go. Once that happens, it'll bind to the actual flight controller here, as you can see just happened. So sometimes they'll take three or four tries depending on if you can get to bind or not. We got lucky in this time as the first try. So we're gonna go ahead and connect to Betaflight here. So when you go to the actual receiver tab, what you're gonna see is that the pitch and the roll, sorry, the yaw and the roll are backwards. So when you start to move these around, it's going in the opposite directions where they should be. So the first thing we need to do is reverse that. So in order to do that with this radio, you're gonna turn it off and then you're gonna hold down um, the inside button here and power it on and just keep holding it down and you'll hear a sound, which is that sound right there. And that's gonna let you know that it's now gonna be the correct way now for the actual uh, yaw. So we're gonna do the exact same thing right now for roll. So we're gonna power off the radio hold down the inside button again and turn it on and you're just going to hold it down until you hear the exact same sound again and then you're going to let go and you'll see now that rolls in the correct as well actually it's still wrong so we're going to go ahead and do it one more time so if that's the case you hold down the opposite button on the outside now and turn it on and wait for that same sound should sound like it's going down. I think the other sound sounded like it was going up there. So now you can see that roll is correct. Um, we need to change some of the settings on your still. So the next thing you're going to do is we'll post these on our website. Is you're going to go into CLI and you're going to paste these settings. Um, so saying we paste, and the setting is going to be essentially. Uh, RX range zero and nearest of the range, which is going to be 1180 to 1860, and just do that for zero, one, two, and three, and then you're going to go ahead and click on save, or add type save, and then click enter, and that will go ahead and save all those settings for you, and it's going to reboot the board. So what that does, it actually gives you the correct um, range now. So as you'll see, some of these now now is actually working correctly, um, but some of these are still off, so they're not completely centered as they should be. Um, so the top one needs to go up a little bit here. So what, the way you do that is you start to move these buttons um, up and it'll go up and down based on when you change. So we'll go ahead and change it over time just so you can see it again. So you go down, it goes down, push up. The actual roll will go up as well. So you're gonna try to get these as even as possible all at 1500. Um, they will move a little bit as you move other things around, but this will give you a nice start point. So the next thing you need to do is you, um, the aux button on this radio is actually the right gimbal, so you push down, and you can see aux 1 changes. Um, you push on the left gimbal, that's actually aux 2, um, which we'll show you, um, you don't really need to use that for this, but we're going to go ahead and go into modes now, and configure the modes quickly. So now we're in the modes tab, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add horizon mode, and put that in there when you get to be, and then we're going to add air mode. Put that in as well. So you'll see when you push the aux one button, which is the right gimbal straight down, it'll switch back and forth between air mode and horizon. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. And then we'll go back. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab our nitro nectar and go ahead and plug it in. Connect it to the actual pigtail here. And what you're gonna do here to arm this is you're going to actually take the radio and you're take the left gimbal and go to the bottom right. And there'll be a solid light on the flight controller when it actually arms itself. Um, so we'll, we'll put this radio in, in sight so you can see how to do it as well too. So you're gonna take it and just go to the right. So right now it's, it's in air mode. So we'll turn off air mode and we'll go ahead and slide a little bit here. It's gonna be hard to see. Okay. Left is left and right is right. Um, so we'll bring it down real fast and we'll show you air mode as well. So you push the right aux mode, you are in air mode. So, and you can disable that as well too. So that's about it. Um, hope you have a great day.
Thanks. Bye.